For more on Iranian reaction in Tehran and elsewhere, we're joined by Negar Mortazavi. She's an Iranian-American journalist in New York. Negar, welcome. Thanks for having me. Uh, let's begin with the hope and expectations of Iranians. The reality is they may not see the impact for some time to come. Yes, Asya, the Iranian population has been waiting for this deal for almost two years now. This was one of the main promises of President Rouhani's election campaign. This is what he basically ran um, his election campaign on, and he has been saying in his speeches also that he fulfilled his promise to the Iranian people. The Iranian people really wanted this deal for economic reasons, for political reasons, and um, it's just something they've been waiting for for a very long time. They've even celebrated the interim agreement before during this um, past few months of negotiations. But tonight was the real celebration of the actual final deal. And you're very much plugged in into the Iranian community. Uh, what are they telling you? What are their hopes? And do you think some of the excitement is sort of psychological at this point after all these years of isolation? Yes. Mm, I mean, the deal is going to have very important economic um, implications for the Iranian lives, but that's not going to show immediately. There's this, um, like you're saying, psychological effect on the society, this feeling of hope for a better future, which was something that when I speak to Iranian people on the ground, did not exist um, two years ago, three years ago. In the final years, especially of President Ahmadinejad, um, there were really dark years, as Iranians call it, the threat of war, um, the crippling sanctions had a tremendous effect of their, on the Iranian society. So people had uh, had lost this feeling of hope for a better future, which is something that this deal has brought back to the Iranian society. So this feeling of hope for a better future, for next year to be better than this year, is the most important thing that Iranians communicate to me. And also the lifting of sanctions is something that um, the Iranian population is really looking forward to. And we're hearing Iranian state television actually broadcast President Obama's speech live. How unprecedented is that? Um, the last time the Iranian television actually broadcasted that was in the previous interim agreement, which was which was unprecedented. It was the first time, and this time they also um, broadcasted it. It's a it's a very important uh, step on the Iranian side, and also on the U.S. side. I think the two nations, after three decades of just pure animosity and calling each other Satan and evil, um, have taken really constructive steps towards each other. Um, President. Obama uh, and President Rouhani had a historic phone call a couple of years ago, and the two foreign ministers, um, John Kerry and Javad Zarif, have been meeting almost every month in the public eye for the past two years. So the two countries have taken very important steps towards each other, and I feel like the moderate forces um, are sort of pushing more for this re-engagement and this detente between the Iran and the U.S., which has already started, and these are um, signs that we can see um, that that's coming out of it. Uh, when President Obama made the announcement this morning, uh, he said the deal is built not on trust, it's built on verification. But at the end of the day, if Iran does what it's supposed to do, is it the opening, for, perhaps, for building that trust and starting a new chapter in U.S.-Iranian relations? Definitely, yes, yeah. I think the negotiations in general were um, sort of built, built on both trust and on verification, but the two years of negotiations itself was also something that um, created the trust between the two sides of the negotiating table. The Both sides have numerously, repeatedly saying that um, the, other, the other party has committed to their promises during the past two years. So they've sort of shown a good faith in these negotiations in the past two years, which is a complete shift, especially on the Iranian side, um, to what was happening before. And um, I think what, what this deal, um, the way it's set up is that it's built on trust, but it's also verified based on each party's actions. And both, um, both sides have made sure that they have um, important snapback measures so that they can get out of this deal immediately if the other party doesn't fulfill their commitment. All right. Thank you so much, Negal Mortazavi, joining us from New York. Thanks for your time and perspective.